Welcome to the functions in R instructional video. So a function in general takes some input and gives you output. The same is true in R, except the inputs have a particular name. In R, we think of inputs as arguments to functions. We've already seen a couple of functions. For instance, this lowercase c, you might remember as combine or concatenate. If you wanted to make a vector, say I'll call it vec, gets lowercase c and then parentheses. Most of the time when you use functions, you're going to type a pair of parentheses after the function name. And whatever is in between these parentheses, separated by commas, will consist of elements in some vector. So C is combining 5, 3, and 2 together to make a vector of length 3. We've also seen the function length. So I'll type in length, and then again a pair of parentheses. And whatever is in between these parentheses will be the input or the argument to this function. So suppose I want to know what the length of my vector is. Type in length vec. And we'll see that that's of length 3. If you run into a function that you don't know exactly what it does, you can look at R's help file by typing in a question mark and then the function name. Suppose I wanted to look up the function length. If I execute this, RStudio opens up a help pane where we can see some general information about this function length as well as a lot of detailed information. Simple functions most of the time have just one argument. For example, we can take the square root of a number with this sqrt function. So I'll type in sqrt, some parentheses, and whatever is in here will be my function input. So say I wanted the square root of 81. You see that that's 9. We can also do a natural log transform with this log function. So say I wanted the log of 3. We can undo a natural log transform with this lowercase e, or Euler's constant. So say I wanted to look at e to the fifth power. I could type in exp, which is going to give me e exponentiated to some number, um, so exp5 would give me 148.4. Those are all simple functions that just take one argument. But oftentimes functions take multiple arguments. So there's a function called round that takes two arguments. The first argument is whatever number you want to round. So say I want to round 1.0472. And I want to round it to the second digit. This argument digits is the second argument for the function round. And I'm going to type in digits equals. And then whatever is after this equal sign will be the input to that argument. So the argument name is digits, and I want to round to the second digit. 